Hi guys, so today I am going to tell you about how to synchronize the vehicle turn signal to this LED panel animation. So okay, let's get started. Uh, okay, uh, I'll show you the components of this system. Uh, I will remove this panel for a moment and get this out. And here, here as you can see, uh, there's a small device uh, with a relay. So what this does is, uh, so basically this mimic the turn signal pulse of a vehicle flasher. Uh, so basically by using these two buttons, I can control the speed on and off speed of the relay. So that uh, for an example, if you want to connect this uh, kind of LED, LED panel to a vehicle, so we can uh, LED panel to a vehicle, then what we do is uh, first, uh, I'm taking this device and also get a video of the vehicle that we want to copy uh, the turn signal uh, sequence and then I'll by using these two buttons I'm controlling the speed of the relay to match with the vehicle uh, turn signal speed so that we know exactly how what kind of a pulse are we getting out and then let me show you how this panel is made uh, so as you can see uh, this is a light module which goes inside the vehicle turn signal and uh, so this size is calculated based on the vehicle light size and as you can see there are three LED, LED strips here WS2812B LED strips and all the connections are here so as you can see uh, you know all three strips are headed in the same direction and and the connections are parallel here i mean all three strips are connected in parallel and then it is connected with the controlling board uh, then uh, then these are the power leads you can directly plug this into a 12 volt uh, you know supply of the vehicle turn signal so you know in most cases you have to keep the original vehicle light bulb you know you know otherwise because of the resistance different vehicle will recognize it as a burn bulb or it will it will you know i will miss uh, behave i would say uh, so keep the stock bulb and you 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 can hide it or wrap it up with uh, you know foil or something like that and you can connect this module to the led bulb in parallel so that you can have this uh, cool animations as you can uh, saw in the video so yeah this is it say we are using this kind of a panel and uh, the thing is actually when when turn signal pulse is on we need to complete a full cycle of this panel so if we if the turn signal is too uh, too fast and the animation is slow it won't complete a full cycle it will stop at the halfway and turn it off so that uh, we need to match uh, exactly the vehicle turn signal speed to this uh, panel speed so so by using this module we know exactly what kind of pulse are we getting out from the vehicle right so let me show you uh, here is a 12 volt battery and i'm gonna plug this in uh, as you can see it is uh, blinking at rate so i can i can decrease the speed and also i can increase the speed with these push buttons Likewise, you can you can hear the sound as well. So it is blinking too fast. Also, say that uh, we reduce the speed and say actually this is the speed of the vehicle that we are going to fix this panel to. And then we are testing the panel uh, with the connections. So as you can see, it does not complete a full full cycle. It stop here. Let me turn off the light a little bit. So as you can see, it's, it is not completing the full cycle because the uh, the pulse is too speed. So if if this kind of a case comes, we need to adjust the code and increase the speed of the animation to match with it. Uh, but say if the vehicle speed is lower, say if you are getting this kind of pulse out of vehicle, this the coding at the moment is perfectly matches with it. So you can see the full cycle is completed and then turn it off by, by the relay. So this matches and uh, if it is too slow, if it is too slow, it will turn on full and keep like that until until the relay turn it off. 
it is okay kind of but not the perfect way but still it works uh, say the uh, speed is too high and you fix it uh, say if the speed is too high it can't complete the full cycle because uh, it is it is turning off uh, before completing the full cycle so so just assume that this is the pulse that you are getting out from a vehicle then you need to you need to change the code of the uh, this thing to match with that speed so basically that is how uh, this thing is done so a lot of you had questions about it how to match the speed and etc so so make a simple module like this uh, which uh, with the uh, you know changing speeds so then uh, you can have it uh, on your desk and without going to the vehicle you can test and uh, yeah so that is uh, basically it uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something out of the video uh, see you guys in the next video thank you